Welcome back to another rig review and today we're going to look at the Aisha rig. Here it is in its full glory, all the controllers and you can get it on Gumroad. You can see here it's $15 for the non-commercial version. Full disclosure, I got this rig for free for review purposes and it will be posted on the Animation Buffet site as well where you can find a bunch of other reviews and other rigs. So if you have anything you want me to review, take a look at, feel free to email me. And it also supports the Studio Library. So go to studiolibrary.com download all of this and you will get this beautiful selection of facial poses. Now, when you get the non-commercial version, you get this here, which tells you what is included. Also use this email for any problems. I will put that in the comment section as well, pinned. And these are the credits. These are the same people who did the Ang rig, which was awesome. So look forward to another fantastic rig. Going back to the rig here, we can see the main controller. And on here, you have all of these options here. So we can scale the rig through that main controller there you also have the rotation order you have spline ik you have that you can see this here you have the ik fk arm it's a little bit of a pop there and you got the legs switching over like that and the same thing left and right and you also have outfit one and outfit two so if i take off the controllers this is one outfit and then let's go back to the other one there you go that is the other outfit pretty cool that's all part of the rig now let's check out, this is your foot. So as you can go down here, you can see it moves the knee with it, but you also have a pull vector to it like this. Let's go back down. Now on the foot control classics, you have scale, which is always cool. Watch out, the sandals are a bit wonky, but you can rotate and transit, of course, as you do. There's a gimbal change here, pull vector as well. This is for your pull vector on and off. You have a twist option here, just in case you don't want to use the pull vector, you have an auto stretch. So if I grab that foot, it's like this auto stretch. It goes like that. There is a manual stretch as well. And then you have a foot roll option. There's a foot roll limit and a foot bank and the show pivots controller on off. So we'll turn this off. You can see where that goes. So if you get closer to this, we can see here extra controller for this. So you can see the flip flop, which is awesome. Also follow heel, yes or no. And then you have these guys here. So you can pivot off of here. You can pivot off of here. It's awesome. I love this. I love that this is presented like that. And since we don't have any shoes, you can see here we have overall toe control. And then you have two joints for the toes here. We also have extra little controls for that, which is cool. Same thing on this side and then same thing on here. And selecting this gives you just that in the channel. Same thing for this. We always kind of have to double check. Is there anything else in the channel that will help us? Moving up here, you have Bembos on this side. Can we scale? Yes, we can. You have knee Bembos as well, which also has the awesomeness of pinning. So you turn that on and now you have a pin option which is very cool. So you move the foot around, the knee stays put. I love this. Going up here, you got bimbos for the thigh. And of course we have that on both sides. Switching quickly to leg FK, you get this controller, which does it here. And you get this controller that moves it all here. And of course here for your foot like that. And then including the toes like this moving up here we have a couple controllers in here you have the kind of like the thigh shoulder you can move that out can you scale you cannot scale but you can rotate it around like this we also have the hip control so you can move it around like that there's nothing in the channels can you scale yes you can so you can change in however you want to and we got the root the gimbal option here but the root moves around like that can we scale we cannot scale just the root Going up here, we have extra controllers for shaping the spine and you have also auto squash and stretch. So if you go up here again, you have this to move around, not to scale, but you go up here and move the chest up. You got that, which is locked to the head currently. You can scale it, of course. Then we have two breast controllers here. You can translate. You can also scale. You use this, of course, appropriately. And then as we go up, we get to the lower neck function. So that you can move the head around like this. Can we scale? No scale. There's a tiny arrow here and that 
gives you this, which is one of my favorite controllers. And I wish that every other rig had that as well. It's sadly underused. Now, before I go to the arms, again, if you select the main option down here, you have your spine controls. You can see this here. It switches to this. There's nothing else in the channels, but you can move things around like that. And you can also rotate around like this. Now, going to the arms, you got your clavicle control here. You also have auto clavicle on off to a certain degree. And then we have the FK option like that. You can see this here. You can break the rig like this or go like that. Nothing in the channels all the way down to the wrist where you can move it around like this. Now, if I go back to this here and I switch to to IK, we get this here. So if you move this around, you can see how much the clavicle is moving. So that's your auto clavicle function right there. Now you also have Ben Bose, of course, right here. And you also have a pin function, which is again, awesome, just like the knee. And if you go in here, you can see this here. This is for the cloth. Let me get back to visibility here. That is your cloth option here, which is very cool. Love all this. And then back here, you have your elbow control, which you can then change. If you go here, you have your twist option or not. You also have auto stretch and manual stretch, of course. And getting closer to this here, you have your spread. So if you want to not do this manually, you have it like this. You have the relaxed, immediate relaxed pose option. You have a scrunch, which is like this. You have a bend, that's for the first joint. You have a curl for all of them. And then you have these also separately like that. But of course, you can also go in there and select these like such and rotate them like that. That's all very cool. All the way up to these guys to a uh, palm rotation like that. That's very cool. I like it. Just quickly, if we switch outfits to outfit number two, you can see here, so I'm going to bring that up here. You got this here. You can see this. These are the options for the clothing there. And this goes all the way down to here, which is very detailed. I love this. So you got your bracelets here, your ankle ones, and you got all of these. So whatever you're seeing here, you can animate all of this. This the whole thing as a group. That's very cool. And if you look here, it's the same thing for this. So this moves all of them. Can you scale? Yes, you can. And you also have this here. Like I said, scale all of them or move them separately. I think that's very, very cool. She's very tense. I should probably take this and bring it back down. But let's go back. I don't know. I don't have to really go back, but let's go switch back to the default. That's what you get there. Of course, arms, it's the same thing on both sides as it should be. And then we have a neck offset. So you can do this here. Also auto squash and stretch in here but again you can do this like that and then we get to the head control that gives you a pull like this and you have rotations can you scale yes you can massive head changes there gimbal option here all the other stuff is in the channels then let me look around here you got this in your hair controls again lots of options here this is the ear this is the ear as well but then we get into the hair. So you can take this and also scale. So you can grab all of these like that and start scaling, start moving. So lots of options there, that's pretty cool. And since it's out there, let's just grab the eyes. You can move your eyes around like this. You can see how much the lids are following, which is pretty cool. And you have eyes separately. That's all you have on those channels or anything eye-wise, you can do it Oh, like this. I guess you can scale for that but you have extra controls on these ones. So you can rotate the eye like that. You have iris scale, Whee! you got pupil scale like that, and also eye follow. So depending on how you're gonna move these around, you have options to minimize that amount. There's a bigger eye control that moves the whole socket. You can also scale that, which is pretty cool. And you have extra little controls here to reshape your lids if you want. Now, if you select the top one here, you can move this down for a blink. That's all you have here. There's no other option on that. Of course, you can do this on both sides. I have this in a pose already just because of the uh, studio library. But you can go down here and you have more skin control there, including smaller fine tuning controls. That's pretty cool. You got some lower lids, kind of cheek control. Same thing here, it's not quite cheek here, but just lower and you can also translate like this and change things. That's great when you have a smile. Speaking of cheeks, let's go to the actual cheek controls. 
that is here including a scale of course ears on the other side as well and then we have a nose control where you can translate like that and then the lower part here you have that to rotate can we scale yes we can now if you grab this here and you move this around you can see how much of the nose gets influenced so if you go back to here and hit auto aim boop, it does that so it kind of grabs that top part as well now you have nostril control right there which we can scale as well and you have nose ring option as well here same thing on the cheeks and since i'm seeing this here you have that to kind of reshape some options it's all be great if you can if you care to eat or something all the way let's go back here to the chin speak of chin you got this option here for the jaw so you open like that can we scale to some degree yes you can rotate and move everything around actually let me leave this a bit open so you can grab the mouth control like that you have finer controls of course like this you have an upper lip that you can move around you can also rotate in and out there's no scale though same thing for the bottom one you move like this same thing for that corner like that let me undo a bunch of stuff here and let's go back to this because there's the tongue control so on here you can move the whole tongue you can also move that all separately can you scale yes you can all right and then tooth control i'm assuming here yes you got the upper ones and then we got the lower ones and we have a scale option as well now since we here you can see this with that pose dialed in let's go back a bit here close this you can move that whole lower part you can translate and you can scale it also has a middle option here to move this and scale and you have another one right there that moves the whole second half there and rotate and scale and the top one here you can scale this and move the whole upper part now going up here you have eyebrows like this you have a finer control of eyebrows like that of course again this is already posed because of the studio library you have the bigger one that moves everything but you still have a separate one that takes this together all the way down to find control this is also one right there what i'm not seeing actually right now just double checking here if i see something no i don't see a facial squash and stretch some of these sometimes have a, a control up here I go to my drawing tool so there'll be a control up here sometimes up here where you can grab this and it will squash and stretch the head kind of a bummer the rig is already super cool i would love to see this unless you want to go in there and kind of manually do something where you do it like that but i think an overall overriding squash stretch option would be really cool and that is that going up here again it's quickly you got a gimbal and you got your cog master chest and parent option depending on how you rotate the head it's going to change certain things so if I rotate this like that, you can select this and go master, chest, and parent. So you can see all these options there. And let's go back. Going back to another outfit just in case. Doesn't change anything in terms of the hair. No, oh, it changes that in terms of outfit. Has no controllers though. So there are no options on this here to move this around here. Yeah, the only thing I would say is squash and stretch would be neat. There's already a bunch of really cool stuff on there. I think adding that to the repertoire would be really cool. All right, posing this out here is actually something that I totally missed. So when you go back to all the controllers here, I totally missed butt cheek controls. You can move them around you can scale up and down i totally missed those two so i uh, double checked again <laughs> i think that's the only thing i missed and that's kind of that for the rig so as you can see it's fun to pose out lots of cool controllers don't forget you have a studio library with lots of great facial expressions and that is that so if you like these kind of overviews feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any of those other rig reviews or whatever lectures that i have on my channel as mentioned before any questions about the rig there is an email that you can contact and that is that. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you in another rig review or another movie that I upload on my channel. Thank you.